Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a another vlog. It is Monday morning. I just arrived at school. I want to talk about a few things really quickly. First of all, one of my friends was interviewed on a podcast. Her name is Mona Parker. I love her. She has just a really awesome mind and outlook on so many things, and I love the topic that she talked about. They interviewed her about toxic masculinity and just kind of like overall equality because it is March and if you didn't know March is women's is it women's history women's rights something about women it's bad that I don't know that I am going to link that podcast down below in case you guys want to listen to it if you do give it a listen please let me know your thoughts on it below because I don't know I just love listening to Mona on any topic really she just she's a very open-minded person and she just usually has really interesting ideas so I'm gonna leave that down below in case you were interested at all the second order of business that I wanted to talk about or touch on really quick is so I was scrolling through Twitter and I follow this account that um, does a lot of like astrology stuff for Libras because if you didn't know I am a Libra and the tweet said something like I attract narcissists because I'm an empath, 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 is that how you say it? An empath. I don't, why does that sound weird coming out of my mouth? And so I was like, oh, that's real interesting. So I sent it to a few of my friends and they're like, that is such a real thing. Like, go look it up. I've read articles, da da da. And so I started looking into it a little bit last night and I can relate very, very hard to this and so I'm just gonna be doing some research about it and I'm just gonna share what I find with you guys I just thought it was a really interesting idea and I definitely feel like I could um, say that I've experienced this in some way I just thought that I would share that with you guys because I think it's super interesting and if you are curious at all you can do your own research and we can totally have a discussion about it because I love talking to people about it. And I'm gonna head into school. I have a test today, so wish me luck. Hi guys, it is much later on this Monday. I obviously showered. I need to so bad. This hair was a little gross. Um, I took a test that only took me like maybe 20 minutes and then I was let out of school early. So I went to a fabric store to finish gathering fabrics. There was one I couldn't find. After I went to that fabric store, I met up with Ricky and Brittany and Sabrina. We went to Barnes and Noble because I wanted to get some books for Portland. Um, I still need to finish Michelle Obama, but I just like to have a poetry book. We went to Barnes and Noble and then we went to Olive Garden and we got food and chatted for five years. Regular girl world. At least in our girl world, I don't know. And then, yeah, I came home, I showered, and I've just kind of been putting together um, my project. And yeah, so I think I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday. I have kind of a busy day ahead of me, so I just finished some homework, which I will show you in just a moment. I need to read, and then I need to start getting ready because I have an interview. This was a thing that I was referring to last week about that I might have something be changing my life. I don't know how much I want to tell you guys yet, but I need to get ready for that, have lunch, and then leave to go to the interview, and then straight from the interview I'm going to work. But let me show you the fin blah, 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 blah. Let me show you the homework I just finished. This is my drafting homework. I am currently doing a rough draft for my final project. My client is a single man. He's a bachelor. He throws parties. I gave him a super big pantry because he throws parties. He does like snacky stuff. I just gave him a lot of room to do that. His fridge is here. I have a under um, counter fridge over here, mainly just for beverages. It's like a mini fridge. 
Um, this is a sink, dishwasher, very small island. That is his range. And then this is countertop space, but these dotted lines that end here. So that's all cabinet space. This is like just gonna be a bar area. He doesn't do like sit down dinners. He does more like casual, like, you know, party type gatherings. So I just made that long bar that will be able to fit five people. And I'm gonna have windows here. So like, imagine like this being a bar and they're like looking out, like he's gonna have a view like that. That's kind of the idea of that. This will be a half bathroom in the future. I just had to do the kitchen plan. I just wanted to put that space there. So I was keeping it in mind for the final project. That is gonna be Mr. D's kitchen area or that's what I'm envisioning currently. Okay guys, so I got ready for my interview. I'm still try trying to decide if I wanna do my hair, but I don't know, I kinda like, natural hair but I have this button down I put a little tank top underneath because I mean I don't have much to show but like just in case you know rather be on the safe professional side when interviewing than on the scandalous side and then I have these pants on that I belted with just because I feel like a belt always makes things look a little more like professional and then I have some pumps on and my booty looks cute in these, so can't complain. I do have a blazer that I can put with this. I'll probably wear like the blazer in and then like take it off during the interview. Um, I don't know, let's put the blazer on, one second. Okay, here it is with the blazer. I will not button up the blazer um, just because I feel like it's too formal and because this is actually my mom's blazer, it's not mine, so it doesn't fit me 100%. Like you can see like the sleeves are long. Um, if I was planning on wearing the blazer the whole time, I would cuff the sleeves. But I do have a blazer just to kind of complete the look. It isn't the most fitted blazer I have ever come across, but to wear it to like walk into, I think is fine. And then yeah, I'll take it off for like the actual in a recession. I have done a video a long, long, long time ago on my channel about getting ready for an interview. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. Don't, don't watch that. I'm bringing a list of references because they asked me to bring those. And then I'm bringing my planner. So first of all, I can, um, since this is an interview for an internship, there's gonna be specific dates that I'll be working between, like somewhere between May and August is when I would be working, so I just want to be able to look at my planner. But also I wrote down questions that I want to ask when they are done interviewing me. Wish me luck if you want me to live somewhere tropical and make a bunch of cool vlogs this summer. Just wish me luck because this interview is for somewhere really, really awesome. I probably won't talk to you guys much about it unless I get it then obviously and decide to go and do it, then I will talk to you more. Let me know what you think about my outfit. I know lots of people feel really nervous and weird about interviews, but I think partially because I've interviewed so many people, I don't really get nervous. I feel like when I have interviewed in the past, I can respond really quickly and I, I'm i just a really good interviewer. Like, I don't know how that happened. If you're nervous, I would just say, know your bases, make sure you research your company, make sure you, yeah, just prepare yourself and you should be less nervous. That's probably some really bad, like, not any mind blowing ideas, but I don't know. Just be confident in yourself. You're awesome. And yeah, let's do it. Okay guys, while I have my lunch being made, I'm just making some ramen because it's really quick and easy and we don't have a lot of food here. I thought, first of all, I would ask you a question. Would you like me to do like a new, how to interview, like how to get ready for an interview, like good questions to ask in an interview, just like all about interviewing because I feel like I probably have some pretty good tips and that'd be kind of like an interesting video to make and it'd be super helpful I feel like for you guys. And then I just wanted to tell you guys that my roommate Sabrina, so she got her hair done yesterday, super cute, but she's getting her first tattoo today. I'm so excited for her. She has wanted this tattoo for years and finally just kind of was like, okay, I'm going to do it. She's really, really nervous about it, 
But um, she was like asking me like, can you describe the pain? Like, what's the pain like? Tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like shading kind of feels like an electric toothbrush, obviously with like needles, so it's like harsher, but like kind of like that like brushy, like electric toothbrush feel. But also another thing with tattooing that I always tell people, and I've never heard anyone else say this, but in my like experience of my, how many tattoos do I have? Five? Pain is way more dependent on like who's tattooing you rather than like where the placement is. Cause everyone's like, oh, ribs hurt so bad, but my ribs didn't hurt. And my most painful tattoo was my Achilles because my artist who did that one like dug the fuck into me like it felt like the needle was going like three inches into my skin because I just felt like he had like such a heavy hand and just like dug into me so tell me if you guys think that this is the same or not but I think it depends way less on the placement of the tattoo and way more on your artist and if they're heavy-handed or not because all my other tattoos have been pretty easy because they have lighter hands that like tattooed me. So, if you've ever been tattooed, let me know if you agree or disagree with me. But anyways, my Roman just finished, so I'm gonna go eat and then head off to that interview. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday of this week's vlog. I just got to school, it is 8.30. Um, so I have a half hour until class starts per usual. So yesterday I went to that interview and then I went straight to work. I didn't do a bad job at the interview, but like I was just really excited going into the interview and I came out not as excited about the opportunity. I'll still wait to hear back from them, but I wasn't like sold on the idea, which really sucks because I thought that it was gonna be like a really good experience. I kinda have a lot to do today because tomorrow I leave to Portland bright and early in the morning. I'm hoping to get at least part of my project done that's due next week so I'm not stressed out when I get back from Portland. I'm gonna take my camera into Best Buy to see if I can get it fixed so I can take some pretty footage in Portland for you guys. I need to pack still. And that's really all that's on the agenda today but it's kind of like a lot of time consuming things so it's just gonna be kind of a busy day. So, I'm gonna head to class now and I will catch up with you guys in a minute or two. Okay guys, so I'm back from school. I went to Best Buy to see if they could fix my camera. They said they'd never seen anything like it before and I could take it to a fancy camera shop and ask them but they don't know. So I'm thinking that I'll probably just have to upgrade my camera. I mean, I've had this one for about three years, like ever since I started YouTube way three years ago. So I have had it for a little bit. Um, obviously, I prefer just to fix it. So I'll probably just buy the newer version of my camera. I don't think that I'll have it for Portland because I don't really feel like paying for that right this moment. Maybe in the next week or two, maybe when I'm on spring break, I will get that camera. I need to get some schoolwork done. I need to update my parking permit and I need to pack. And yeah, so I am just going to do that right now. Probably talk to you guys tomorrow um, while I'm on my way to Portland. Okay guys, it is 4.44 a.m. I am about to leave to the airport to Portland with Sabrina and Brittany. I did not sleep very well. Um, I probably fell asleep around 10.30, so I was pretty proud about that, but I woke up at 3.30 and just couldn't go back to bed. My mind was just running, so got a solid five hours, so let's get to Portland. Good morning, everyone. It is actually Monday. I am just coming here to, um, well, start off next week's vlog, but also end this week's vlog. So I'm at school currently. I got back from Portland yesterday afternoon. I got some footage, but I didn't like necessarily talk to you guys about it, but I will just kind of insert the B-roll that I have from Portland in here right now. Sabrina's freaking out. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. We've made it to 
Portland, so we're just upset because this house is old and it doesn't have any outlets. But um, we're in the cutest little place. Look at our cute little like fire, our cute little rug, our cute little plants. Cute everything. Who's this shit? Oh, Kyle. I just said Nicole. I don't even know a Nicole. Who the fuck? Vodka and Dika. <laughs> Vodka and Dika. <laughs> Hello vlog, we are Hello. here oh, at wow. Voodoo Donuts. Oh wow, I need some Kybella. <laughs> okay, no you don't. We're at Voodoo Donuts right now, can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. But uh, we got, we got all the goods. Voodoo Donuts. We got some good, good stuff. We went to Powell's earlier, which is this huge bookstore. It was really sick and we had so much fun. We spent way too much time in there, but it was just awesome. We are now going back to the Airbnb to chill before we go out tonight. We're cold. Mm -hmm. It's raining. <laughs> So that's what Portland looked like. I know we went to Voodoo Donuts. I know we went to the coast to see like Cannon Beach. We went to a little town called Seaside. We had some good food. And I'm trying to think what else I got on camera. I can't remember. But that's what our weekend at Portland kind of looked like or little parts of it. We had a fun time. Both of our flights were pretty easy. And yeah, we all got home safely. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little snippet of Portland and whatnot. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.